All right, everyone, I'm going to show you how we can take a look and get the information for pressure sensitivity when using a stylus. So you'll go ahead and you'll notice down in the output, you can see we're getting the pressure from zero to 100. And I'll go ahead and just play with that here again off screen. So you can see we're getting pressure from zero to a, a zero to hundred from zero to one. And that's showing how hard and how light I am pressing on my screen using my tile stylus. And as you can see there, we can get the relative. And if you've seen the uh, video where we went over how to create swipe controls, you'll know, remember relative from that. And then tilt as I tilt my stylus all around, you can see we're getting that data. So if you're, tablet has tilt support then you also you can also get that data as well all right now that debugger down at the bottom you can ignore it that's just the engine for some reason it tries to load the png even though we don't have the png uh, it's an svg now and one thing to note before, before this your tablet may not work out of the box uh, you may have to come into the project settings and search driver and you'll see on the left hand side and this is under input devices and pen tablet and driver.windows this is usually going to be empty by default and you'll have to drop down and take a look at WinTab or when ink you have to select one of these and the engine will have to restart now from the very brief information that uh, i looked at uh, WinTab seems to be better for uh wacom tablets and when ink seems to be better for uh, every other kind of tablet and in my experience messing around with mine when ink did perform a little bit better all right so going on with that we can then close project settings and the information that we need is actually all inside uh, information that we already have so i just have again just the an icon here the sprite and align where I'm affecting the width, a sprite where I'm affecting the scale, just to show you an example uh, when I was press, pressing uh, down on the tablet, that way you could see something visually uh, that can be affected while doing this. All right, so if we go ahead and jump into the code for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just spread that out, boom, boom. So if we take a look, I just have the icon, I have my line 2D, and you can see here that everything that we're getting is a property of our event, when our event here is an event mouse motion here. Uh, if we were to take a look at that, we can see that's what we got, pen inverted, pressure, relative, tilt, and the velocity. All right, so you can, and you'll see here with the description with pen inverted because that kind of sounds a little weird like what is pen inverted because i did not show that there but you'll see returns true when using the eraser end of the stylus pen my pen has an eraser on the opposite end and others uh, others uh, may not have that option all right so i go went ahead and added this line in here for inverted just to show you that because my pen does have the eraser on the opposite end that's one of the reasons why i picked the one that i did uh so if i were to just show you here just so you can see now it doesn't really matter uh, when we're on here because it's going to affect the pressure either way uh it just depends on which side right so we're on this side you can see inverted is false this is the pen side with the nib and when i flip it around to the eraser You'll see inverted is now true. And of course we still have the pressure. So if you were to support both sides of the pen and maybe an eraser functionality or something, or a separate option there, then you would have to check to see if your pen was inverted, but that's how you would do it. And if you do put that option in there, remember not all, not all pens are going to have the eraser on that end. That's really all there, all there is to it. When it's in, if the event is an input event mouse motion, then we can simply just get the event.pressure 
or the event relative or the event tilt or the event pen inverted and with that you should have all the information you need uh, about your pen to use it now in my case you can see I'm adjusting the scale X and the scale Y of my icon to be set equal directly to the pressure because my scale is a one so I'm using the pressure to give me that number from zero to one now line width um, I have a base number in here of 30 because that's how wide I want it to be at max and so I'm doing 30 times my event pressure so at most it's going to be 30 times 1 at minimum that's going to be 30 times 0 and if I'm pressing about halfway down on my pen then that would give us a pressure of 0 0.5 uh, times our 30 which will give make our width 15 right in the middle all right so there's how you can use the pressure setting directly use it with math to create whatever um, as well as how to get your pens information and remember to set that driver uh, info up in the project settings that's very important all right with that take care have yourselves a good one that'll do it for this video and i'll see you guys next time